Welcome back everyone to another video in our pipe stress analysis course. We will continue modeling in our 3D model. In our last video, we created our first pipeline here, as we can see. And once we finish, we press continue to our next point, which is from 20 to 30. Let's say that we have another pipeline here of 3000. Now this is from 20 to 30. After that, you press continue let's say again you have another pipeline it will keep going in the same direction each time you have to press continue now let's say that you are going uh, to go vertically down with a bend let's say in in y direction negative y direction now this is going to be from node uh, 40 to 50 in order to be able to see the nodes you can go here to this icon and press on it now you can see all of your node uh, this is a handy tool and it will make it easier for you to track your model once it start uh, getting bigger you can come here and you press bend and now you can see this is what is the type of the bend is it single flange or double flange is it long or short this is uh, a relation between the diameter of the pipeline and the radius of uh, of the bend and of course this will be mentioned in uh, the data sheet which you have already for uh, the bend you can get it from it now you are going to insert the length of the bend in the x direction so let's say that our bend let's say it is uh, 2 meter for example in x direction you press enter now you have the x component of it now you need to go in the y direction and in the negative sign so first you press continue don't forget it and now in the y direction you press minus 2000 and you press enter and now you can see that you have the bend created here after that again continue you can press whatever let's say another 6000 again continue let's say another 2000 and now let's say that we have a T connection here that it is going with a branch to the right side and left side in the Z direction. Let's say that the length of this uh, T is one meter, for example. So now we are between 70 and 80, which means we are here. So you need to press continue first. You will go minus 1000. Now you went in this direction and now you need to go in the z direction so let's say x here this is the z positive it is one meter also and after that you will start creating uh, your model uh, there is one mistake here that i have done in creating this uh, t but i did it in purpose and i will show you why before uh, running the analysis now let's keep going in our z direction let's say there is another three meter run three meter now let's say there is another a bend in that direction so again you press on the bend let's say it is 2000 and in that direction which means it is in x direction so you press continue and in x direction you press two meter and now you have this element always each time don't forget to press continue three meter now let's say you have a, a reducer from the 800 millimeter pipeline to the 400 millimeter pipeline we we'll press continue and here you press at the reducer now it is asking you for diameter 2 what is the diameter for uh, the second pipeline again you can either enter 400 per millimeter or you can enter in inches the equivalent is 16 inches press enter now you have the exact value 406.4 millimeter and for the thickness the same I will enter S and you have the value this alpha this is for the angle or for uh, the reducer and let's keep it by default now in x direction you need to insert uh, the length of 
uh, the reducer let's say it is 1000 you press 1000 now you have this reducer it's created you press continue you will see now automatically that your diameter here is 406 this is the wall thickness and everything now is for the second pipeline let's insert another three meter now this is the three meter in uh, in the new diameter which is the 406 uh, here there's one point I want to show you in modeling uh, the reducer let's first see here these steps here or these icons you can change the view whatever the direction top or bottom or the side or the 3d let's go to the side view now let's zoom to this reducer you can see now that this reducer is going from both sides and it is in the center uh, sometimes some of the reducer will not be in this way it is going to be eccentric which means it is going to be flat from the top and all the deviation is in, uh, in the bottom uh, sometimes we do this in close to the pumps because we don't want uh, to create any vacuum here or we want to avoid it that's why you can see the top of the pipeline is flat and the reducer is only coming from the bottom so how to accurately uh, create this let's see here let's go to this reducer we can see that the diameter of the first pipeline is 812.8 and the diameter 2 is 406.4 let's go to the calculator so now we have 812.8 minus 406.4 equals 406.4 it is exactly uh, the double now let's divide it over 2 it is 203.2 this means that our pipeline went from the top 203 millimeter point 2 and it went up from the bottom 203.2 millimeter now while we are creating this 203.2 now while we are creating this reducer we said it is one meter in x direction now in the y direction we will say it is 203.2 also millimeter and press enter now let's look at our reducer you can see now it is totally flat on the top and all the deviation in the in the diameter it went from the bottom so now we have an accurately modeled reducer of course this in case that our reducer was like that in reality uh, I wanted to show this one because it happens many times close to uh, the pumps and it is always better to accurately identify any element you have in the system you can go back now to the 3d and this is enough for our video today and we will continue in our next video modeling in our analysis model. Thank you.